The growth of a local economy is what it takes in order to overcome systemic poverty. The old adage is true. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. And so, you know, what we're trying to do is teach people to fish. There are many people who live in the world today who are living in places with corruption, uh, with limited access to education, to resources, to capital. There's just a huge number of challenges associated with even trying to find basic work. You need to stop the bleeding, and if somebody's starving, they, they need food. Uh, but beyond that, what they need is the ability to create their own businesses, their own jobs, their own means to sustainability and flourishing. The purpose of the business training trips that we're taking with the Village Church is to empower local church planners with the skills they need to implement a small business. That small business would provide for themselves and their families and provide them with access to unreached people so that they can do the work of church planning. Once those business plans are developed, they're taught how to implement them and they're also provided with financing to start those businesses. Then those loans are repaid and that repaid capital becomes available to do another generation of church planners in the future class. Obviously what we're doing is very small scale. Giving somebody a small loan doesn't change a whole lot of lives, but if you can move somebody from a dollar a day of income to five dollars a day, you've changed their lives. Pray that God would raise up workers for the harvest. Pray that God would raise up business people to go on trips. We need people to give. We need them to give to support the work of those who are going uh, and also to support uh, the loans that will be made to these entrepreneurs. Most importantly, we need people to go. We need people who can give up you know, a week to 10 days of their life and go use their business skills to help teach a group of entrepreneurs how to run a small business and how to implement a business plan so that their lives can be changed and also the lives of the communities that they're taking the gospel to can be transformed. These are men and women who have sacrificed everything for the sake of the gospel, who will gladly do any job they can do in order to feed their families so they can do the critical work of church planning. The opportunities I've had to train these entrepreneurs has been the most fulfilling thing that I have had the opportunity to be part of in my entire career. Couldn't, couldn't persuade me to do anything else. <laughs>